Def definitely a clear size difference here in the competitors. Jacob Brooks, known as Spatch uh, from Pedigo, looks to have a major height advantage. He looks to be using that length to try to tie up Joey's head. Joey keeping his base low and trying to use his uh, height actually to help him prevent the shot or Jacob getting underneath. Some interesting stand-up engagement here. It's always good to see some wrestling at the lower weight classes, even in sub only. Agreed. Right away, as I say that, Jacob pulls guard, looking for the guillotine. Good. Nice guillotine attack by Spatch. Really controlling Joey's deep, head. Deep on that head and arm control here. Nice Very hand not, good, fighting. good hand fighting to escape. Look for Jacob Brooks to really use those those long arms and to his advantage in these head and arm exchanges as well. A lot of darces, a lot of anacondas, neckties. It's interesting that say they opted to come back to some wrestling. Aggressive heavy, collar ties. Heavy collar ties by both competitors. Interesting to see at this weight class, um, you know, another guy looking to pull guard. Excellent foot sweep. Nice foot sweep off the head control by Joey. He's now in the butterfly guard of Spatch. You know, with Spatch's long legs, he's going to be trying to create some distance and space here. For those that don't know Joey Deal, he's also um, a yoga teacher as well. I've been doing yoga for a long time and has very, very fluid movement along with his MMA and jiu-jitsu experience. Nice so look, side look to side passing by Joey. Spatch able to keep the knee inside, but Joey's put good heavy pressure with his head and hips. Jacob Brooks stands back up. They have to stand back up again. Again, good to see some wrestling on display. Absolutely, especially with Joey Deal being the clear, smaller person. Still not opting to pull guard here. Spatch in his promo photo did have headgear in uh, singlet on, so he's living up to his uh, appearance from the promo photo. Absolutely. <laughs> nice jumping guillotine attempt by Spatch. Joey Deal. Hardly puts him back on the ground. Joey Deal. Nice the inside cut pass. Stapling hammer. that leg very nicely. Looking to secure the pass. Passes the guard. We see a buggy oh, choke. Oh, looking attempt. for a buggy choke. Jacob looking for that buggy. He's definitely got the body type for it, but Joey, Joey defends savvy to it. Getting to the mount here. Back to the end, but really good top control by Joey. Being hard for Spatch to get attached, attached to him or use that length uh, for his advantage. Good knee on belly, good guard recovery, good pass again. Nice exchanges, good guard recovery by Brooks. Joey's not re resting reaching, at all in this position, constantly reaching, moving. Reaching towards the edge of the mat here. Got the double butterflies here, pulling out to a closed guard with a body triangle here. Jacob looking to try to take the back by exposing Joey's arms, getting his head to the outside. Joey's wise to it and is trying to keep his elbows heavy to not let Spatch get that angle. That body triangle closed guard is a hard thing to deal with, especially against a taller, longer position person like Spatch. Joey's going to have to do some work, probably having to stand up to open that if Spatch wants to keep him in that closed guard with the triangle. Body triangle from the closed guard does make it a little harder to attack as your legs are engaged and kind of locked in place. Um, but with the length of Spatch's arms, he has a little bit more opportunity to be able to create angles for back takes and head and arm positions. Joey opting here for putting pressure with a cross face here. <clears throat> Confident in his defense of the closed guard for what Spatch might be throwing at him. switches the body triangle to the other side. Joey looking to build himself back up here. Spatch doing a good job keeping the double underhooks here, keeping the posture controlled. I think after those early pass attempts and uh, successful patch, passes from Joey, Spatch is uh, going to tie him up a little bit, wear him out, and keep him 
um, in close, so he's not able to use his side to side, which I think is a wise strategy for the taller, longer fighter. Halfway through the regulation, five minutes down, five minutes to go. Again, if we do not have a submission regulation, we are going to EBI style overtime. <clears throat> Pace is definitely slowed down with this body triangle closed guard position. Spatch now being methodical here and when he wants to open the guard to attack. While the body triangle is something that's nice as an option, it is more of a control option. It's hard to really launch attacks, keeping that body triangle tight. I think with the overhook Spatch has now on Joey's left arm, he may be trying to create an angle and then we'll open the guard up a little bit and start to attack. But he's trying to get that upper body control before he gives up his lower body control, which is smart against a fast, explosive opponent like Joey. Four minutes, Bash, four minutes. Four minutes to go. Six minutes in. Now Spatch has opened those legs, trying to create a little bit of that angle. Then opts to go back to the body triangle once the angle is not there. I'm trying to possibly set up a buggy choke from close guard here. This is it's a new one. I'm sure there is a 10th planet term for this attack that I do not know, so. I do not as well. Very interesting attack here. Joey keeping a, keeping a lock on his body here, trying to breathe through the straw a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell how, how tight it is from here. I mean, Joey's face was getting a little bit red there, but it looks like Joey doesn't defend with much problem. Joey's able to create a little space and get the guard Excellent. open. Excellent. Okay, guard is now open. Look for the pace to now pick up. Joey's thinking about a footlock attempt there. The Spatch was wise to it and was able to clear the knee line. And standing back up. Back to some wrestling. Three minutes left in the fight. It's been a pretty high pace when they've been out of that body triangle. And a close guard pull from Spatch. Nice. Interesting uh, pendulum sweep attempt here, looking to go for an arm bar off of that. Very nice angle. He's trying to climb that right leg up. The shoulder control and head control he's at right now gives him a really good opportunity, but Joe is able to free the shoulder, take that angle Freeze away. Freeze that overhook. Now we are back to a close guard situation here. Joey doing a good job, not keeping his hands to the mat, not allowing Jacob Brooks to get those those strong overhooks. Back to that body triangle. Oh, looking Jake, to sneak out the back door there. Yeah, Jacob had a little bit uh, better angle on that body triangle. was a little bit more threatening, but Joey has been very, very smart in not letting him get those angles fully, preventing him. Ooh, po possible Loma Plata Loma attempt Plata here into a triangle. Oh, the triangle are, is locked. The triangle is locked. Long legs are coming in. This is a reverse triangle. Looks like... Looks from this position, looks like he's trying to possibly go for the Kimura, try to isolate the arm here. Joey's, Joey's stepping over, down. beautiful Looking defense. His own leg lock attempts off the escape. Very nice wow. transition. Very nice Excellent transition. attack, really nice defense. Good exchange from the competitors. It was definitely our deepest submission attempt of the fight. Now Ooh, Joey's right to, mount. right to mount. He went right from that staple pass straight to mount instead of side control this time. Isolation. Ooh, going straight for the gets arm. The arm. And gets the submission. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful arm lock from Joey Deal. Don't Deal blink. 